When you first get in the Land Rover, you're gonna be quite daunted with the amount of levers that are in here. First of all, you've got your handbrake, then you've got your gear stick, and then down here, you've got your red and your yellow. Now, these are the ones that operate your four-wheel drive. The Land Rover itself is always in two-wheel drive until you tell it to go into four-wheel drive. And you do that by pushing down the yellow lever here. You push it down, and that engages the four-wheel drive. If you want to use the low ratio part of the gearbox, that's when you use the red lever, and you simply just pull it back that's how you get your low ratio for doing heavy haulage or towing or when you want to pull out tree stumps. To disengage four-wheel drive, simply put your foot on the clutch and pull the red lever back. And then you want to push it forward again so you're in the standard gearbox ratio. And that's pretty simple for your four-wheel drive. Some Land Rovers are fitted with free wheeling hubs. Now, free wheeling hubs are fitted to improve economy and also reduce wear to the front axle. Now, under normal use, a series Land Rover runs in two-wheel drive to the rear wheels. However, because the front road wheels are rolling in contact with the tarmac, they turn. And because they are also connected to the front axle and prop shaft, all that turns too. This friction costs fuel and can wear the front differential over years of use. The freewheeling hubs can be locked on or off. You need them locked if you're gonna be in four-wheel drive, but when you put them off for two-wheel drive, it means that the front wheel just spins without using all the axle components, and this saves your fuel. 